Hello everybody, my name is Rin and today we're gonna talk about Colleen, the internet's most favorite artist. To hate. <laughs> but first, we hit 20k little blind moles, over 20k little blind moles, where I have like 24 or some shit like that. That's fucking insane. If you don't know, little blind moles, it's why I call my followers here on YouTube because as artists, when you put a blank piece of paper in front of us, it's like we've never seen whatever the fuck we wanted to draw before. So we are little blind moles. <laughs> also the trauma, you know about the trauma. Do you guys like my hair? It is hotter than a devil's under titty up in this bitch. I am melting. My brain is melting. I'm going through it. Why am I holding this? Why am I holding it like this? <laughs> Bro. Also, if any of these bubbles are bursting over the duration of this video, we are gonna act like it did not happen. These uh, hair ties have, uh, have betrayed me before. If you don't know Colleen, she is a content creator slash artist slash uh, teacher here on YouTube where she has 1.9 million followers or on TikTok where she has 1 million followers. I chose to talk about Colleen today because she seems to be at the center of a whirlpool of hit every fucking couple of weeks. Even in my fucking comment section. The way that I found out about Colleen, by the way, because I don't engage with the art community as a viewer. I don't really know anyone else, uh, any uh, like art commentators or artists. So the way I found out about her was by people comparing us. Oh, you talk funny and you draw? This other bitch talk funny and she draws. Like, come on. I, I really don't feel like our contents are very similar other than the type of content. I believe she has said in the past that she doesn't care about it, but this is not about Colleen. This is about the community. I'm doing it for the community. <laughs> this video is not meant to defend her or attack her. It's more of a commentary on how the, the art community chooses to react to stuff, to artists, to art in general. Before we get going though, I want to make clear that this is not an attempt to get in on the rivalry bit she has with some of those arts. I have in fact no interest in skip drama. And if you think that it's real beef, please throttle your critical thinking engine so is the community's hate warranted or is colleen worst crime being a millennial with millennial humor we're gonna talk all about it we'll go through the stuff that she's been accused of both the ones that are kind of a witch and the ones that have a bit more um cancel meat on their bones so the bulk of her content is centered around roasting roasting content roasting her followers art roasting other tutorials on tiktok take a shot every time the word roasting appears in her titles now just so everyone is aware she has said that she only uses roasting and clickbaity titles for uh, views and clout uh, does it make uh, make it more okay yeah, because the actual content is kind of respectful, actually. Is that a ball sack? She's actually not really roasting them that much, honestly. I watched a couple of them and she's very kind of nice to them. Only problem is she says that she's fixing them, which if you've watched this video of mine, you know that I don't fuck with online critiques at all. But the thing is, she's not really doing critiques, even though she says she's fixing them. She's only redrawing them. Is it less disrespectful or more disrespectful? Because she's like, she's not even attempting to kind of like keep the fucking art that she's just doing a uh, draw this in my style type of thing so one of the main gripes that people have with colleen is her humor which honestly her humor humor it's uh, subjective however you can only hear the word juicy or smoothie once so many times before you'd rather uh, jump into a pit of uh, mangusts is mangust a word in english listen just because someone has a humor that is annoying to you but they are pretty popular it doesn't mean that you have to engage with them to tell them that you think that their humor is shit and that they shouldn't be popular trust me once you remove annoying ass elements from your life your mental health will improve exponentially that is unless they are not hurting people if they are hurting people violence that's you know that does not have a lot of cancelled meat on their bones you can't cancel someone just because you find them a bit annoying which people the people are trying people are trying there's an argument from people who just don't fucking like her art style that's also another big thing her art is just bad because her art style is bad 
problem. Just don't fucking look at it. It's it's an option you got, you know? These people believe that because she's teaching her art style and she's showing people how to kind of do stuff in her art style, it's that she's perpetuating her art style like a fucking plague that everyone, every young artist is just gonna have this art style. Why the fuck do you care, bro? Do you really believe that Colleen has the power to start a fucking art movement? Ah, yes. What is your most favorite art movement? Narcissus. Oh well, my good man Percival, I am most gratuitous for Rococo, Impressionism, and Coolinism. Like, be for fucking real. Chill. You Again, you don't have to engage with any of this. Just because you find someone annoying, it don't give you the right to hate them. Why? Why does this community always fucking hate artists for just existing? And listen, people who follow her tutorials obviously want to achieve her art style. Again, I'm a furious believer in letting bitches draw whatever the fuck they want, however the fuck they want it. And if you don't like seeing the art style, just don't engage with it. Trust the algorithms, you'll never see it again. If you click off and they and they clock that you clicked off because of the art style, never again. You won't even have to know who Colleen, Colleen is. But I do believe that I've mispronounced her name the majority of this video, I am very sorry, it is not my intention. Another thing that people are mad at her about is that she is a proud member of the same face syndrome community. <laughs> May they get well soon. May they get well soon. Is there anything inherently wrong with that? No, I don't really think so. An artist becoming enamored with a feature or a set of features or even a fucking race and painting that shit to exhaustion is nothing new. We've been getting fixated on shit since eons ago. Believe it or not, that is what muses are all about. Now, some people may find that she boring and therefore they don't really like her art. But I don't think that the boring aspect comes from using the same subject. If we take a look at Lop, Lop, I've never known how to how to say that name. Whatever, Lop, you've fucking probably seen their art online. WLOP is an amazing artist who is known for painting the same woman, the same girl in the same type of settings. But I don't think that I've ever looked at any piece of theirs and thought that it was fucking boring. That's because their subject is always implicated in some shit. <laughs> They're always doing something. It's always making you think, hmm, what the fuck is going on here? What's going on in this amazing, uh, majestical, fantastical world. I want to be there. I want to talk to that bitch. Like, is she a princess? Is she a warrior? What's going on here? It's actually making you want to see more of her. Like, why are you drawing some other shit? Show me the gal. The thing that makes same face syndrome boring is that you never get a different type of face. You never get a different type of expression you never get a different type of setting they're not doing anything new at all their themes are the same the poses are the same for colleen is usually portraits and that's that but is that a reason to hate someone though they just don't go out of their comfort zone is that a reason to hate them i'm a firm believer that bitches should be allowed to draw whatever the bitches want to draw However the fuck the bitches want to draw it art community can be very very toxic at times especially digital art people for some fucking reason why it's gotta be us guys honestly honestly everyone is forgetting that art ain't that deep it will never be that deep it has never been that deep it's as important as you wanna fucking make it when will y'all understand you can have it be like your everything or you can just make it for the sake of making it, innit? I find people who say that because you post your art online and because you put yourself out there, you are open to the, the most heinous fucking criticism. Imagine if you put your art in a gallery and then some bitch comes and throws tomatoes at it. Is that fucking acceptable just because you put it out in public? No, it's not. So now this leads us to the next hate node, if you wanna call it that. The one thing that I usually see uh cited as the reason why she's a bad artist she's a bad person that, that she deserves the hate is that she's not very um inclusive in her arts you will never kind of see a brown or black person uh usually white or asian people now listen i think that is shit that the vast majority of young artists online don't know and don't care to learn to draw 
non-white features. I think that their art suffers for it and I'm very sad that they haven't discovered how sexy variety is. However, you can't force a bitch to draw whatever the bitch does not want to draw. You do not have a right. It's just their own personal art that usually they're doing it casually. They're not part of any big corporation. Who is the bitches that have a responsibility to put out mainstream content that includes black people, trans people, gay people, all the marginalized groups and they have the impact. Just look at Across the Spider-Verse. Bitches are learning how to draw wigs when they don't even know what looks are. That's a pretty big fucking impact. I've never seen so much brown people, black people drawn on Twitter just casually, bro. It's amazing. At the end of the day though, I'm not the one affected by the lack of uh, diversity within the art community. Uh, so form your own opinion on it. Honestly, I should not really have one. I just believe that bitches should draw whatever the bitches want to draw, you know? But the actual incident that made me talk about Colleen today is tied into this because she has recently been accused of whitewashing. Whitewashing, oh no. Whitewashing is fucking a shit. If you are intentionally drawing a black character with more Eurocentric features, go fuck yourself. I believe that you should maybe just put the fucking pen down. I don't know. I, I believe that everyone can be an artist, but if you're gonna be a hateful artist that uses their skills to hurt people, fuck off, innit? <laughs> Bro, also, let me go on a fucking tangent real quick because there's something that really annoys me. Whenever there's a whitewashing incident, a whitewashing scandal, whitewashing gate, if you will, without mistake, there will be some dumb bigoted bitch in the comments being like, um, if this was a white character and someone would have made it black, you guys would not have said anything. Are you dumb? Bitches always say, white bitches always say stuff, even if the, co the the conversation is not about them. Like, you're doing it right now. And also, bro, let me tell you, black washing is not a fucking thing. Now, let's use our critical thinking skills just for a second. There, say it with me, say it with me. There is a different socio-political context. Have white people had to endure heinously offensive misrepresentations and been mistreated for generations? No. Do you think that black people have a right to be a bit sore about all of that? About the about about, about the slavery? We gotta show them some leeway, don't you think so? Oh, and also they wanna make it sound like it's it's been so far away, like our ancestors did that. Our ancestors bitch more like your fucking grandparents the first documented year without lynching lynchings was like in the 50s your grandparents it's your grandparents bro sorry about the tangent but whenever people compare incomparable situations like that it just gets me coming a bit it gets me a bit frazzled and dazzled if you will it's the same thing with the fucking misogynists who are always like, oh, but if a woman did that, if a woman did that, uh, y'all would y'all wouldn't be so fucking okay with it. Shut the fuck up. You've been plundering and raping. <laughs> so anyway, we were talking about an incident where Colleen was accused of a uh, whitewashing. The video she was doing was it's it's a type of video that many artists do where you randomize traits and create an OC based on those random traits that you got but then someone made like a expose video on tiktok an expose video this is the skin color that the random thing picked and now her color is lighter her color is lighter though what's that about what's that about it's what question instead of calling them brown or black or poc or whatever she called the character tan people didn't like that but she apologized for that. Listen, there's this. She apologized for it. Now, the expose maker turns out they took a picture of the mid of her process. And in the mid of the process, you put down like a, a base layer of color. And she put down a base layer of color that is lighter than what the randomizer picked. 
However, by the end of the process, her color was quite the same as the one that the randomizer picked. After adding shadows and effects and whatever the fuck she does, it was basically the same value. So, she didn't really whitewash. And also, it's kind of insane to say that an OC can be whitewashed. Like, it's not a, a canon character from somewhere. It's not, no one, she created it. I actually believe that the expose maker is more harmful to to the community than Colleen ever was. What do you think happens when when the boy calls Wolf too many times? When someone actually whitewashes, people are not gonna react to it with the same intensity that they should. They're gonna fucking mistrust it, first of all, because so many people have been like, oh, they're whitewashing, and they're not fucking whitewashing. So yeah, just fucking stop, you know? Call it out only when it's a thing. Some people are so fucking quick to jump the gun on the whitewashing thing, and it's usually fucking white people. It's usually the white knights. I don't know the ethnicity of this uh, person that did the expose, but back to Colleen though. Another thing that people have against her is that she's doing tutorials that um, they're quite rudimentary. They're quite base, base level stuff that doesn't really teach about the, the, the actual anatomy or actual structure. And people are saying that that's ultimately kind of hurtful to young artists. I kind of slightly agree with that. I don't really like tutorials that are very simplified because ultimately it leads to a lot of misinterpretations by uh, the beginners because the beginners are blind moles who don't know shit. Everyone is blind moles, but the beginners more so. I think she does. I've noticed with all her teaching content, she often says what she does, but she doesn't really say why she's doing it, which kind of indicates that she doesn't really maybe know I do believe that's a bit harmful, honestly. But is she the only one who does this? No. The internet is full of bad tutorials. Do any of these artists get the same amount of hate that Colleen does? No. Although I do believe that it is a bit harmful to put out simplified tutorials like this. At the end of the day, I feel like the people who watch her tutorials are people who are earlier in their art journey than she is. Their art will probably come out improved in some way. Not in the long run, but it will be a bit better. Okay, it's the next day. I got tired. Sue me or tell me, I guess. So, so far it might seem like I am a cooling fan, a cooling hater, a collider if you will. Because <laughs> I have kind of uh, excused most of the criticism that has been thrown her way. However, there is one last point that her haters make that I completely agree with. I think this is actually something that is harming the community and most of all her viewers, obviously. It is the strong view that she has over drawing, in her words, ugly people. So this is a video on question. Let's watch it together. Let's watch it together. You want to know why I don't draw ugly people? Because I don't get likes on Instagram. <laughs> I think that drawing people that are not conventionally attractive does not equate to no clout. Beauty is subjective. I honestly don't think that everyone likes white or Asian women. You know, the stuff that she draws mostly. So she starts the video by showing this post of a beautiful girl conventionally attractive girl that posts herself and gets a lot of likes even though her art is shit and then this shy girl posts only her art and gets no likes because her she doesn't post herself and she goes on to agree with the with the message that the post is, is sending. It really is true. I've seen it happen numerous times before. And you know what? Life's unfair. We live in a society. So like, I have to agree with this post. She's like, yeah, this is the sad reality, which I don't really agree with. I don't really have this bleak view over the art community of the people that enjoy art. However, although she agrees with the sentiment that the post is showing the sad reality of the, of the shallow, art world she goes on to say that it's very hypocritical uh, that you know the shy people make art but they still care about the views and stuff if you really did not care about clout if you really valued quality over the booty why would you care about the likes don't get me wrong this post is accurate it's reality but the thing that i'm pointing out here is the hypocrisy but i don't really think that it's hypocritical to to want likes and to want people to see your art and discuss your art. I don't really see it as hypocritical. Caring about the message and the meaning of your art 
does not mean automatically that you, do, you can't care about people seeing it. I think it's just natural to want people to see your art and talk about it and, you know, share the message or, or just fucking say that, oh, look, I, I did a nice thing. I did a pretty thing. Look at me. You know, that's wanting attention is not a bad thing. Have you ever looked at someone's drawings on Instagram and then looked at their follower count and then you went like, why does he have more followers than I do? I'm clearly better than him. Don't lie. Listen. I know you've thought this before because I've thought that before. I've thought it numerous times before in the past. It doesn't matter how good you are. If you know the ways of the cloud, you will get clout. I mean, I do agree that the algorithms don't really necessarily always favor the best. But what is the best, honestly, in art? Is it the best technical skill? Is it the best emotion? Um, portrayal is it like art is such a subjective thing how can you say that your art is better than someone else's art like yeah you can say it like based on one criteria but at the end of the day everyone is gonna take different things from art this is what art is about this is what makes art so fucking great this is why we don't only have like 10 artists that are popular and that's it you know because like everyone views art differently someone may like your art style and some people may think that it's the, the scrounge on the community you know <laughs> this is exactly why i never draw ugly people yeah call me shallow but do ig girls get famous because they have a nice personality no i don't think so, so all in all the message of this video is quite fucking icky i just think it's a very bad take again and i just think it's a very bad and weird take to impair onto your younger followers i feel like her followers are a bit younger it's not professional and it's not ethical this stance is quite weird and a lot of people are rightfully offended by this i have seen a few artists who are really good amazing even but the thing is they only have a few followers sometimes not even a thousand now compare that to people who make fan art of popular fandoms bro i have witnessed how a certain artist grew from a few thousand followers to a hundred thousand followers because they started drawing attack and titan fan art i also don't fuck with this view that fan art is lesser art there are some fucking fan arts of attack on titan that have had gut-wrenching effects on my mental health <laughs> something that everyone can agree with is that art makes you feel emotions okay it's made me feel a lot of emotion so it's good art what does it matter that it's based on something else so for some reason it's very controversial to make money off your art there are actual people in this world living today who are disgusted at people who make money off their art so they could pay bills and not die i think that's such a weird take it's controversial to make money of your of of your art I, there may be people who kind of glorify the idea of being a starving artist and not a sellout and always uh, making very unsellable art but i don't think that's the majority i don't think that's a normal thing to say most people kind of agree that artists have to make a living. I'm just saying, stop looking down on people who make money off their art. There's a reason why boomers think artists are broke. And that's because of artists themselves who refuse to sell out and would rather be broke and pretentious. Artists who think they're above everyone else just because they don't care about the amount of followers they have. If you have clout, there are multiple ways to make money. Clout is power. Listen, if you only draw one type of thing and you want to make it in the industry, having like a semi-solid job, you're not gonna make it by drawing the same thing over and over only because it's got a new clout. The industry people are not looking for that. When you show range and show the ability to draw a multitude of ethnicities, of uh, ages, of weights, of diverse people, that is when uh, people who are in the industry are gonna take notice of you. When most people think about getting into the industry is for character design, trust me, they're not gonna pick you if you only draw one character. If that's what you want to do, of course, like, again, I can't stress enough how art has its own meaning for you. You should be making art for your own reasons. And again, I, I really fucking hate this idea that chasing cloud and having authentic art can't be in the same box, you know, like, just the ugly sentiment overall. So now you might be watching this right now and thinking, nah, this video ain't for me. I don't want to make money off my passion. No lie, I used to think exactly like you until I got my first paycheck. Wee <laughs>
just to clear things up i'm not telling you guys to go out and make nfts right now if you don't want to make money off your art go do your own thing it's a free country i think it's a normal thing to want to make money off your art and i think most people do want to make money off their art even the people who are doing it as a hobby i don't think they would mind if a brand deal wanted to sponsor them like <laughs> Who says this, bro? Who who are you talking to online? What the fuck? <laughs> People say likes don't matter. If likes don't matter, then why is it that every time you post your art and it gets no likes, you feel pathetic? <laughs> that is because social media has made us sick. It is not a good thing or a normal thing to be dependent on likes. It's understandable, but we should not treat it as a normal thing. To want it, it's okay. To be dependent on it, it's not okay. Okay. Goes on to say how she used to to be like the shy people who um, didn't chase clout and uh, she only cared about the art and stuff. But now she she embraces the the chase of the clout. Ever since I stopped being pretentious and accepted the fact that I love attention and clout, I became a lot more free and happy. Like, I know I'm not really that big, but even now, getting clout has given me a lot of opportunities. Stuff that literally would have never happened if I didn't have all this clout. And I think it's really really sad that you are trying to convince your viewers of this really bleak way of looking at it i feel like being authentic is gonna get you much more um, opportunities and better opportunities and what's also very ironic is that she did not get this popular by drawing like that i don't think that her art got got her this popular i think that what's gotten her popular is her personality and like her humor and i think it's quite sad that she doesn't see this i don't think that her cloud chasing and her clickbaity titles uh made her this popular i it, they definitely help but people aren't here for the clickbait honestly like your returning viewers your uh fans they're not here for the clickbait they're here for you for like your smexy and shit you know for the smexy the juicy the whatever maybe yeah they like your art style they aspire to it but at the end of the day it's quite rudimentary You're only drawing like asian or white women you know there's an exception to all of this and these are super high level giga chat artists artists who are so good that inevitably people will get attracted to their art. but imagine how many years they spend just to be able to draw like that you're gonna have to dedicate too much of your time I think this fucking bit is the most harmful of them all be quick with it be fucking quick with it don't you dare take too much time on the art don't you dare spend too much time learning and evolving bruv this is part of what makes art nice and what makes it so interesting and what's staying interesting for me at least the fact that that there's so much to learn and i don't think that my followers will leave because my art will change i'm sure it will change this was it last year this is it now if you have this mindset of focusing on on the likes and on being clickbaity you know not necessarily growing as an artist i don't think that your art is gonna change too much and i don't think that your audience that is there for your art is gonna stick around if you keep posting the same shit over and over and over and over again I don't think it's a good mentality to have. It's not a, a, a progressive mindset, you know. It's, mm, don't focus on, on your growth as an artist. Only, only focus on the numbers. That's so shit. Again, I don't think that having a large following and having good art and meaningful art, not necessarily meaningful for you. I don't think they exclude each other. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. And now her shallow tutorials make sense. They do. Because people want instant gratification, then they want instant uh, skills. They want to get good fast, you know? So if you show them a really quick and dirty way of, of drawing an eye by just drawing a couple of shapes, even though they don't fucking understand the eye, obviously you're going to get a lot of clicks. Do you honestly believe that I make drawing tutorials out of the kindness of my heart? If you, if you forgot, this is about not drawing ugly people. Ugly people. Ugly people, you know, ugly. Uh, you know the ugly. And now this kind of comes full circle. Some people, the ones that were mad about her non-inclusivity at the start, they are saying, "Ah, oh, so you only draw attractive people, but you also don't draw brown or black people, huh? Do you actually think that brown or black people are ugly? I'm not saying that she thinks that, but it's like, it's why would you make this fucking take for what reason? So ultimately is she a bad person does she deserve all of the hate no not all of it i feel like lots of the points that are made 
against her. I just because people find her annoying as a person. And that's not an excuse to hate on people. But there are some things that I really don't agree with. See the previous point. Hopefully this video has made you reconsider why you hate bitches on the internet. And just don't, you know. So that is it for today. Please subscribe if you'd like to become a little blind mole. The legions are growing by the day. Um, also like this video if you like this video. Also check out the Patreon in the description and my brushes. Only if you wanna. But yeah, that's it. Bye.